Hi, I'm Al McGee with YETicket.com. I'm going to review this new film called Land. And this is directed by Robin Wright. In fact, this is her feature-length directorial debut. Well, Land. Sounds like it has to do something with Land, right? Well, it does. Uh, Robin Wright, her, her character name is Edie. And, you know, she's a 21st century woman. She's from Chicago. And all of a sudden, something happened in her life. You don't get to see what happened in her life too much later in the film. But you see her driving all the way to Wyoming with a trailer. And she buys a small house in Wyoming, way up in the mountains. Uh, it has an outdoor toilet. No internet, barely any electricity. I don't think it had any electricity. And she, you know, she has to cut wood and, you know, eat a lot of canned goods. Or she has to learn how to kill an animal to sustain herself. Well, that's what she did because she wanted to get away from society to be alone because she felt alone wherever she was after this tragedy that happened. So she bought this land and got away from everything, threw away her cell phone and got away. Now, she really was not uh, fully capable of taking care of herself up there in Wyoming with this cabin. You know, she didn't take an account of the weather and things like that, which is showed in this film. So all of a sudden, here comes Miguel and her next name, Awa. Miguel was played by Damien Brashear, and Awa was played by Sarah Dunn Pledge, where they had to save her life because she almost froze to death and she was starving. Miguel also became, let's say, like a, a teacher and an ally for her. He started teaching her how to shoot, and, and when you grab the animal that you killed, how to skin it, and also how to preserve it to be eaten. They had a lot of good shots of the mountains and things like that, but I've seen that before. Not only that, um, she's directing herself because most of the film is just her. The different emotions she go through while she's in this cabin trying to sustain her life, even though she wants to be alone and wants to get away from society so she decided to do that. Well, I feel that tragedy comes to almost every human life here on this planet. You know, we have deaths. We have financial tragedies. We have sickness and things like that. But many of us do not have the money to go up to Wyoming to buy a cabin and land to get away from it all. And also to almost commit suicide while we're there because we are well, unhappy because of what happened. Many of us are not able to do that. But we stay in the, in the world that we have around us and sustain. That's why her character, I, I really can't admire her character for that. And I really cannot admire her directing for this film, too. Because, like I said, it was very easy. And I feel that the uh, screenwriters, Jesse Chatham and Erin Dingham, well, you know, they made this pretty easy for her. And like I say, you know, she had those hardships while she was there. She, those, you know, those struggles she had while she's there at the cabin. She didn't have to go through that. Not at all. Robin White's acting in this film is very good because she's a very, very good actress. Very good actress. So that was not the problem with the film. Her acting or trying to define the character Edie in this film. So I felt this film, it was kind of hard to watch for me. And I really didn't feel anything for this character. I'm only going to give it two palm trees. I'm only going to give this a C grade on average film. Because, well, she did direct it. But there was nothing in it for me. Because I have such many, suffered many tragedies in my life. And I didn't want to kill myself. But she didn't kill herself. But she almost did. So Land is an average film to watch.
But see it for yourself. Don't go by what I say. You see it for yourself and you let me know what do you think about the film.